In early 2025, Chinese automaker BYD, which stands for Build Your Dreams, unveiled ambitious plans and technology upgrades that industry observers summed up as no more EV initiative. In practice, this slogan reflects BYD's claim that it can eliminate the traditional disadvantages of electric vehicles, namely slow charging and range anxiety, by making EV charging as fast and convenient as pumping gasoline. However, it doesn't end there. The whispers of new BYD new engine that is set to crush automotive industries is another bombshell I will be getting to in a few moments from now. Details are included in this video which we will get to unravel this mysterious engine to better grasp the future of automotive mobility. But before we unveil the BYD new engine that's shrouded in mystery, let's take a dive into how BYD intend to provide better platforms for its EV customers at the charge station which is the first phase of the No More EV strategy. BYD's CEO, Wang Chuanfu, and Company Communications have stressed that the goal is to make charging as quick as refueling a gasoline car. In other words, BYD argues that with its new Super E platform and ultra-fast charging system, EV owners will experience no more long waits or range worries. This marks a shift in BYD's public messaging from purely championing EVs to focusing on solving EV pain points and broadening its lineup with plug-in hybrids. BYD's new Super E platform is a 1000 volt electric architecture designed for unprecedented charging speed. Announced on March 17, 2025, it uses liquid cooled flash charging batteries, 30,000 RPM electric motors, and in house silicon carbide power chips to handle up to 1 megawatt of charging power. In tests, the system added roughly 400 kilometers of range in just 5 minutes of charging, effectively, no more delay compared to filling a tank of gas. According to BYD, the flash charging terminal achieves 2 km of range per second of charge and 10 times battery capacity peak rate. Wang Chuanfu bluntly told journalists that the company's ultimate solution to EV range anxiety is to eliminate it entirely by equating charging time to refueling. He emphasized that BYD's aim is to achieve oil-electric parity in charging speed so that users' anxiety over charging is completely resolved. To support this technology rollout, BYD is also building a nationwide charging network. The company said it will install over 4,000 of its new megawatt flash chargers across China. This infrastructure push is intended to make 5-minute charging practical for drivers on the road. BYD already plans to debut the Super E platform on two new large models, the Han L sedan and Tang L SUV. Both models will be offered in pure EV and plug-in hybrid or DM versions. In official launches such as the Shanghai Auto Show and media events in March and April of 2025, BYD showcased the Hanel EV and Tang L EV delivering up to 400 kilometers in five minutes of charge, while also offering Han L DM and Tang L DM with gasoline engines for dual mode operation. This ensures customers can buy either fully electric vehicles or hybrids under the same model names. In press coverage, industry analysts noted that BYD's Super E platform is highly competitive in charging speed and performance, though they cautioned that the new Han L and Tang L models carry premium prices and may see slower initial sales as a result. BYD's No More EV messaging ties into its broader business strategy. For years, BYD has been China's largest new energy vehicle maker, producing both battery EVs and plug-in hybrids. In 2024, it reported building 4.3 million NAVs a 41% jump over 2023, including 1.8 million BEVs and 2.5 million PHEVs. That output slightly surpassed Tesla's EV production with 1.777 million versus 1.773 million for the year. BYD has now become one of the world's top automakers, turning out more NEVs than any other company. The previous leader, Tesla, still focuses only on BEVs, its rapid growth means BYD is dominating domestic sales and also expanding overseas. For example, BYD is now sponsoring major European events like UEFA Euro 2024 and has launched models in markets from Thailand to Britain. In this context, the No More EV push signals that BYD is leveraging its scale and technology to make electric mobility worry-free and mainstream. A key part of BYD's strategy is accommodating market demand for hybrids alongside pure EVs. BYD's European strategy has explicitly shifted toward plug-in hybrids. A top executive advised founder Wang that a pure EV strategy was hard to sell in many European countries, and as a result every new model would have to come both in EV and hybrid versions for Europe. That means BYD's global lineup will increasingly emphasize dual-mode offerings called DM, which the company pioneered with earlier models like the Chin, Song and Tang series to give consumers the flexibility of self-charging hybrids. Indeed, the newly launched Han L and Tang L each come as both EV and DM variants, ensuring BYD can meet diverse market needs. Outside Europe, BYD leaders have also championed hybrids as a bridge technology, noting that plug-in models can offer range and convenience until charging infrastructure catches up. In short, BYD has not abandoned EVs, 
Rather, it is integrating hybrids and new tech to make EV use no more of a compromise than driving a fuel car. BYD's leadership has framed these developments as an extension of its long-term vision. Wang Xuanfu, BYD's founder and CEO, has repeatedly emphasized technical innovation. In February 2025, after a Chinese government technology summit, he told state media that Chinese automakers, led by BYD, are already three to five years ahead of global competitors in EV product, technology and supply chains. He views high-speed charging and advanced batteries as key to that lead. At BYD's press events, he noted that the company originally built its business on batteries and has grown into an auto empire by continuously refining battery and powertrain tech. To illustrate BYD's ambitions, company spokesmen and analysts often point out that BYD's blade lithium-ion phosphate battery is considered exceptionally safe and efficient. Tesla now even uses it in some models. Meanwhile, BYD's branding, literally build your dreams, hints at long-term goals. In one recent speech, Wang quipped that EV and hybrid adoption is the dominant and irreversible trend and reminded audiences that electricity is cheaper than oil. Industry watchers have largely greeted BYD's no more EV push with amazement and a bit of caution. On one hand, BYD's claims have shaken the market. When BYD announced its flash charging cars in mid-March 2025, Tesla's stock fell nearly 5% the same day, reflecting investors' fear that BYD's technology could challenge Tesla's lead. Tech media have fawned over the headline five-minute charging figures. On the other hand, experts note that delivering on these promises will be a monumental task. Developing the physical charging stations, upgrading the grid connection and ensuring safety at one megawatt power are all formidable challenges. As one wired analysis explained, building a network of megawatt chargers requires lengthy permitting and massive investment. It's going to take a while. Analysts at Goldman Sachs flagged that while BYD's new platform is highly competitive on paper, the steep prices of the Han L and Tang L models mean consumer uptake may be slower than in cheaper segments. Other experts point out that China's policy environment and trade rules could limit BYD's global reach in the near term. For instance, U.S. tax credits, IRA, currently exclude cars with Chinese battery components. Implications for the future of EVs, BYD's initiative signals a world where many EV drawbacks have no more relevance. If electric cars can charge in minutes like fuel cars, and if hybrids can boost range seamlessly, then range anxiety and charging inconvenience fade. This could dramatically accelerate EV adoption. BYD itself expects rivals to follow suit. It is predicted that by around 2030, similar charging speeds will become common industry-wide. In the short term, however, BYD's lead gives it a sales and marketing edge. The company's plans to install thousands of megawatt chargers show it is betting big on the vision of ever faster charging. For consumers and manufacturers, the upshot is clear. The EV era is moving into a new phase. Speaking of which, let's talk about the BYD new innovation that is set to roast it competitors' BYD No More EV Revolution, a new era in the automotive world. In the last few years, electric vehicles, EVs, have been at the center of the global transition towards sustainable transportation. Names like Tesla, NEO and BYD have dominated headlines with breakthroughs in battery technology, range improvements and performance innovations. However, 2025 is shaping up to be the most disruptive year yet. And BYD is leading a mysterious, game-changing movement that's sending shockwaves through the industry. In a surprising twist, BYD recently announced a new phase in their business evolution referred to as the No More EV Initiative. At first glance, the slogan sounded contradictory. How could the world's leading electric car manufacturer talk about no more EVs? Weren't EVs supposed to be the future? Upon closer inspection, no more EV isn't a rejection of electric vehicles. It's a bold declaration that traditional electric vehicle technology, reliant on external charging stations and frequent battery maintenance, is becoming obsolete. BYD hints that the next phase involves vehicles that are electric in spirit, but far beyond what we currently understand. BYD's secretive shift beyond conventional batteries. Insiders have revealed that BYD has been investing heavily into new energy storage and generation concepts. Recent comments by BYD's CEO Wang Chuanfu hint at a revolutionary battery innovation, a self-charging blade battery. During a press conference earlier this year, Wang Chuanfu teased that the future of mobility lies in vehicles that charge themselves without needing to plug in constantly. He carefully avoided revealing too many technical details, but his phrasing stirred up enormous curiosity. Could it be possible that BYD is on the verge of delivering a car that never needs to stop at a charging station? For years, companies have teased concepts like wireless charging or solar panels integrated into car bodies. But Wang's comments hinted at something deeper, a technology capable of generating its own sustainable energy internally, something uncannily close to what Zimbabwean inventor Maxwell Chikumbutso has been demonstrating with his self-powered car, Maxwell Chikumbutso. 
a disruptor from the shadows. Maxwell Chikambutso's innovations have long been a thorn in the side of conventional science. Despite minimal formal education, he stunned engineers worldwide by unveiling a series of self-powered technologies, including a car that runs without traditional fuel, solar, or frequent external electric charging. When videos of Chikambutso's self-powered vehicle went viral, many dismissed them as too good to be true. Yet experts who examined his prototypes could not find any hidden fuel tanks or external power sources. His work tapped into a mysterious energy form that seemed to generate power indefinitely, a realization that, if widely accepted, could shatter existing economic models built around energy dependence. It's no exaggeration to say that if Maxwell's technology reaches mass adoption, it would be the death knell for today's EV charging network business models, gas stations, and even renewable energy companies that rely on infrastructure-heavy solutions. BYD's suspicious timing, a coordinated evolution. Here's where the timeline becomes too interesting to ignore. Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered car begins gaining worldwide attention after live demonstrations and independent verifications. Within the same week, BYD releases a new flagship vehicle and intensifies announcements about the No More EV revolution. Rumors swirl of BYD working on self-charging battery systems, eerily similar to what Maxwell has been developing. The normally media-shy BYD CEO hints at self-sustaining energy technology, something that sounds suspiciously like Maxwell's zero-input power systems. Observers familiar with both Maxwell's inventions and BYD's new direction can't help but notice the striking similarities. If BYD has somehow incorporated elements of self-charging or energy harvesting technology, the implications are enormous. But it also raises serious questions. How did BYD get access to a technology that looks so much like Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered system? Was there collaboration, technology transfer, or something less transparent at play? The missing piece is secrecy and silence. Publicly, there has never been any confirmed relationship between BYD and Maxwell Chikumbutso. Maxwell himself has never mentioned collaborating with any Chinese automaker, and BYD has kept its no more EV technical details tightly under wraps. However, industry insiders claim to have spotted a growing number of quiet meetings between Chinese automotive R and D teams and independent energy researchers around the same time Maxwell's car went viral. Some suggest that Maxwell's viral success may have triggered a behind-the-scenes scramble to secure or replicate similar technologies before they disrupt the entire EV market. In the middle of this brewing storm, an even bigger sign of urgency appeared. Elon Musk himself visited China and reportedly engaged in confidential discussions with BYD executives. This visit coincided suspiciously with BYD's announcements and Maxwell's viral demonstrations. Was Musk trying to understand BYD's sudden pivot, or was he warning of the disruptive consequences that could destabilize Tesla's dominance? In the words of one analyst, if true self-charging EVs exist, the entire energy economy shifts overnight. Tesla's supercharger network, oil companies' investments, even national energy policies would be rendered obsolete almost instantly. And now we arrive at the rumors that have begun swirling through automotive and technology circles. There is a rumor spreading about BYD and Maxwell rubbing shoulders that creates some fusion of doubts, even prompting Elon Musk's visit to China to discuss with BYD the no more EV revolution. Maxwell, shortly after releasing his fully functional working prototypes, was making global headlines. While just within the same week, Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered car was going viral, BYD released one of their flagship cars. There has never been any sort of openness about speculation of Maxwell's technology with BYD, however. Something close was reflected. The real question is, how were they able to get their hands on a Maxwell look-alike self-charging technology? That, my friends, is what most Africans and fans of self-power technology that cooked physics will be eager to hear. Yes, on the other hand, long charging stops and limited range, once the essence of electric vehicle pain points are being challenged head-on. As one analyst put it, BYD's latest moves significantly ratchet pressure on global automakers to catch up. Whether BYD alone can know more the EV shortcomings depends on execution, but its announcements have already reshaped expectations for electric mobility worldwide. Sources, official BYD releases and statements, news reports and analysis from AP Reuters Wired.